Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm going to be showing you guys basically a review and what I think of the Galaxy S10. So let's just hop right into this. So the one I purchased is the Prism White Galaxy S10. Just the S10, not the Plus, because I feel like it's the perfect one in between. Goldilocks Zones type phone. Uh, so yeah. So first impressions when you pick this thing up is it's actually really light. You would think it would be a little more heavy, but it's actually like really light. I feel like this is such a unique phone because of its color. It's it's like three colors, so basically it's mostly like an opal kind of blue, um, but in certain lighting it also shows a little pink, which I think is really cool looking. So I guess we can start with battery life. Uh, in my experience going to school, I go about three hours to four hours on my phone every day. It lasted perfectly throughout the whole day, um, but comparing to the iPhone 10, uh, they're they're not too comparable. They're really similar, I feel. Now, of course, the Galaxy S10 Plus is going to have a huge battery, and it's going to be a lot different. Also, let me know what you guys think of this type of video. About I've honestly never done a good review like this, but now we can go to the display and what I think of it. Watching videos and movies from Netflix is um, clear. It's It's perfect for what you want to do with it. And at first, I didn't really like the hole punch design, but it's really, you don't care about it, and it's way different than the iPhone X's notch. Basically, I'm comparing this phone to the iPhone X because that's the previous phone I had, and I know everything about it. Oh yes, so let's talk about the ultrasonic fingerprint uh, sensor for your finger. Um, I like Face ID on the iPhone way better. Uh, it was so much more simple, but when you get the phone, it's it's really it doesn't you don't worry about it. I've heard a lot of complaints before I got the phone, and now that I have the phone, yes, it is not so accurate. Sometimes I have to do it again, um, but really I don't care. Finally, let's talk about the camera on this phone. Now I think when you're shooting, like when you're pointing and you're looking in the camera app, it looks a little laggy. I don't know why, but once you uh, move it to your computer or you're looking over the video, it's really smooth. Honestly, the HDR10 Plus isn't all hyped up as it is to be, but it does shoot a good video, uh, I will I will say. Another thing that was hyped up is Shot Suggestions, the camera AI in the Galaxy S10. It's actually really good. I didn't think I would use it, but when I'm shooting, it actually does help you get a better shot and a better angle at what you're shooting. Also, the AI in the camera, um, it shows you what you're pointing at, and it's really accurate. If I'm pointing at a dog it shows me a dog. If I'm pointing at a cat, it shows me a cat. The live focus on this phone is actually really cool. Um, some, to some people, they really hate it because it makes them dizzy, um, but it kind of looks cool. You could do some creative stuff with it. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And also, I'm so, I apologize if I'm not the best tech reviewer. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications for some random video I'm going to post again. Um, more more, more videos will be coming on this. Camera test? Probably yes. Let's go. This is shot on the super wide angle. It's really good. Here's some pictures I took in this video. Hope you guys enjoy them.